words today from the Pinal County Sheriff asking President Obama to send troops. Sheriff Paul Babu says Mexican drug cartels now control parts of Arizona all the way up to Metro Phoenix. Drug cartels control this area. And this is unacceptable. And local law enforcement cannot handle and stop this on our own. Pinal County Sheriff Paul Babu says drug violence is far past the border. Spilling into the communities, hiking areas now have warning signs posted where military armed drug cartels are frequently photographed making drug deliveries to vehicles on Highway 8. We are outgunned, we are outmanned, and we don't have the resources here locally for us to fight this. Five weeks ago, Pinal County deputy was ambushed and shot as he tracked six drug smuggling suspects. Several times, the caller told operators to look for him where the sheriff had been shot. Some of the information he gave had not been released. Sheriff Babu says the issue is too much for local law enforcement. What is needed truly is we're looking at 3,000 soldiers alone for Arizona. In Pinal County, Mary Ellen Resendez, ABC 15 News. A massive stretch of Arizona now off limits to Americans. Critics say the administration is, in effect, giving a major strip of the Southwest back to Mexico. U.S. Fish and Wildlife have closed a portion of the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge all along the border, warning visitors to beware of heavily armed drug smugglers and human traffickers. Paul Babu is the sheriff in Pinal County, Arizona. He joins us now by phone. Um, sheriff, this is a family show, so I'm going to put it like this. What the heck is going on down there? It's uh, literally out of control, and, and violence has increased just in the last four months. And we've been, not just as a sheriff, all of our police chiefs in Pinell County, we stood with Senator McCain and, and literally demanded uh, support for 3,000 soldiers to be deployed to Arizona to get this under control and finally secure our border with Mexico. All right, I got to tell you, when I first received an email about this with these signs that are up saying, you know, don't go past this point, um, stay away, this is not safe. I mean, we're not talking about something that's sort of a Tijuana situation right at the border. I mean, we're talking about something that's north of Tucson, I mean, 80 miles away from the border. Exactly. And we're talking three counties deep into the heart of Arizona, where the answer from our government is to put up signs warning our citizens in, in our sovereign nation that beware of foreigners who are there who are heavily armed. We have uh, squad-sized paramilitary elements that are working deep in our country uh, that are escorting drugs and, and human illegals. And quite frankly, I'm telling you as a sheriff that I don't control that part of the county. We have, my county is larger than uh, the state of Connecticut. And uh, we need support from the federal government. It's their job to secure the border. And, and they haven't done it. And We need beads, we need action, 
Uh, and and it, it's shameful that we, as, as the most powerful nation on earth, can win wars and liberate country, countries throughout our history, yet we can't even secure our own border and protect our own families. And this is why crime in, in Arizona literally is among and has been uh, in the highest in the nation. And, and we need help.